Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking magazine cover using Adobe InDesign. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing you have to do here is we have to create a new document. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up to the presets over here, print. I'm going to go to view all presets. I'm going to make sure I'm on A4, but we need to change a few things. We're going to change the pages to two and we are going to start at page two. Uh, this means that you don't start at the cover page and I'm just going to press create. Cool. So now that we have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to put our image up here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to file place and I'm going to find my image and I'm going to draw a frame up here. So once you have your image selected, all I'm going to do is draw a frame just like that and make sure that it fits in nicely. I'm using Adobe Firefly for this image, but you can use whatever you like. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to round those edges. So I'm going to go to object corner options. I'm going to change that to a rounded edge just like that and I'm just going to increase it to maybe something like that. I think that looks pretty cool. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add a heading in there. So I'm going to cheat a little bit for this. I'm going to go to free pick and I'm going to download this and I'm going to edit this in Illustrator and then put it back into InDesign. So here we are in Illustrator. I've just downloaded it and I've opened up the EPS file. I'm just going to double click on it and then change it to whatever I want. Uh, so I'm going to change the planets. I'm going to highlight all of that text and I am going to change the font to Montserrat black. Now the only other thing that we need to do to this is if we go up here and we change it to this, then if I just put something like that now it will have a little bit of a stroke on there. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to export it but we need to get rid of this text over here. So if you don't see the layers panel go to window layers take off the background and then go to file export and export this as a PNG. So now we're back in InDesign and all we need to do is we need to press command D to place our title in there. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a frame that goes the entire distance of that page and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on that circle in the middle and I'm just going to squash it slightly just like that. So what we need underneath this is a subheading so I'm just going to grab the T tool again and I'm just going to draw a box um, and then I'm going to write some text for this. Cool so I've got my text and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and change my font and I'm going to use Montserrat and I'm probably going to use a medium font there and I'm just going to make it a bit bigger just so it kind of fits that kind of area over there and then I'm just going to bring that frame up just like that. So that's looking pretty cool. Now we need some placeholder text so I'm just going to grab the T tool and I'm just going to draw another frame in there and then I'm going to right click in that and go to fill with placeholder text. That looks pretty cool. I'm just going to change the font back to Montserrat. This time I'm going to use light and I'm just going to change the size to probably about 10. So and if you need to insert more placeholder text you can redo that as well. The only other thing I'm going to do here as well is I'm just going to right click and then I'm going to go to my text frame options and I'm just going to put it into two columns over there. So that's looking pretty cool and you can play around with some of these things. For example, if you want to bring that text uh, box up again and if you want to bring that down just like that, you can play around with you know the placement of these things. Cool. So now the next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle over here. We can arrange it a little bit later. Um, so it doesn't really matter the size, but I don't need the stroke. So I'm just going to change that and make it one solid color. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up my gradient uh, panel over here. If you don't see it, it's in color gradient. I am going to click on the gradient tool and then I'm just going to draw a line just so I can create that gradient. But now I need colors for the gradient. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this color theme tool over here. And I'm going to use these colors. So I'm going to put that color in there. And I'm going to put this blue in that side as well. So that's looking pretty cool. But I am going to reverse that as well. And if you want to play around with any of that gradient kind of settings, you know, you can. So however much you want. I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move it to this side of 
the page and I'm just gonna move it to the middle of that area there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the opacity slightly because I'm just gonna grab the scissors tool and I'm just gonna cut it a little bit. So probably gonna cut it, you know, maybe there and there. And then I'm gonna cut it on a diagonal over here. So maybe over there and over there and that looks pretty cool. So now I need to highlight both of them, put the opacity back up, and then I need to right click. And then if I go to arrange, send to back, now I've got a cool picture in here with the shapes as well. So the first thing that I need to do is I'm just gonna move this uh, image over there, increase that frame so it's a bit more square and cut off. That looks pretty cool. And then what we need to do is we need to make this text wrapped around this shape. So to do that, it's pretty easy. All we need to do is click on the shape and then if you don't see the text wrap tools, you can go to window text wrap. But I'm gonna click this one over here and then I'm just gonna increase this and play around with it until I am happy with that. And once you're happy with it, then we can move on to the next page. So now all we need to do is we just need to grab the rectangle tool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a rectangle that entire page, just like that. Now again, we don't need the stroke, so we're just gonna switch that up, but I am gonna press G for my gradient settings. And I'm just going to draw a line down. Now it should use the same gradient that you had before, but if you don't have those colors, then you'll have to go back to that and grab your colors there. So the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the rectangle tool again and now I'm just gonna draw another frame in there and this is gonna be our border. So we only need the stroke. So I'm gonna increase the stroke size to maybe let's say four and I'm just gonna change that color. I'm just gonna bring it uh, up to white just like that. So that's looking pretty good. And now we need to add some text in here. So for this, I'm gonna be using Illustrator. So I'll show you how to do some wavy text in Illustrator. So here we are in Illustrator and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a rectangle tool and I'm just gonna draw a rectangle. I'm just gonna change the color to black just so that we can see the text that we're gonna be working with. So I'm gonna grab the type tool and I'm just gonna draw a text box just up there. I'm gonna write the word create. I'm gonna highlight it all. I'm gonna change the font to Montserrat uh, black and I'm also going to change that color to white. So once you've done that, then what you can do is you can increase the size. So let's bring that up. And I'm just gonna keep increasing it until it fits just in there nicely. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move that frame just so it sits there like that. And I'm just gonna put that in the middle. So if I go down to paragraph tools, now I've got that text there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold option and I'm going to click and drag that text down. I'm going to hold shift so it goes directly down. And once you've done that, then command D and it will keep on duplicating. So now with these four creates, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change it to only the stroke and that looks pretty cool. Highlight those four again and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to object and then we're going to go to envelope distort and then we are going to go to make with warp and I'm going to change it to a wave warp and I'm just going to leave it like that. So that's looking pretty cool and then all we need to do is export it. So to export this what I need to do is I need to open up the layers panel and I'm just going to take off the background because we don't really need it and I'm just going to export that. So if I go to file, export, export as, save it as a PNG and then we'll take it back into InDesign. So here we are back in InDesign and all I need to do is press command D, find my image and place it in here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw it in that area there. Now it's obviously too big for that frame and what I need to do is I just need to get that frame and then just bring it back to the size of that page. But now it just looks a bit funny so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and then if I go into fitting and if I go to fit content proportionally now we've put it back into that area nicely. So the last thing that we are going to add in here is we are going to add a QR code. So to do that, all we need to do is we need to go to object, generate QR code. You can put your whatever the link is in there. 
change the color i'm going to put mine to white and i'm just going to draw a small qr code there and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make sure that that's in the middle i'm just going to move it until it snaps and there we have it so that's about it for this tutorial so now to preview everything all you have to do is just press w and if you have a look at that now you will see it without any of the guides and anything like that and so now we've just created a two page spread that you can use for whatever you like so anyways guys i hope you learned something thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video